Hello everyone and welcome to this tutorial. So in this tutorial, I will explain the back bar for a sweep power flow method in uh, uh, power systems. Uh, this power flow, uh, power flow method is mainly used in distribution systems uh, and it is a very well known method for power flow. Uh, actually, I will uh, uh, also do the coding in MATLAB. Uh, since I saw that uh, my tutorial would be too long, I decided to uh, first explain the method itself and then uh, do the coding in MATLAB. So uh, my next tutorial is the backward forward sweep power flow, power flow method in MATLAB. Uh, so if you are interested in and if you need the coding, if you need to learn the coding, uh, do not forget to also watch my next tutorial. Uh, so if you found this tutorial very helpful, do not forget to like and subscribe to my channel. So let's get her started. Um, okay, here imagine that uh, this is my distribution system. Uh, it is basically a part of a feeder. And uh, here I have uh, three bosses, uh, two loads. And imagine that my first bus is my slack bus. So to do the back bar forward sweep power flow, power flow uh, we need to first calculate the uh, current of each load. To do so, we basically uh, calculate the conjugate of uh, um, S divided by the voltage of that bus. Um, after doing so, uh, we need to calculate the current of each line. So by calculating uh, this uh, uh, expression over here, uh, we basically calculated the uh, current that each um, load absorbs from the system. So after that, we need to calculate the current that passes each line. And um, uh, you can see uh, from the uh, figure in here, that uh, to calculate the current of this line or for example this line we need to uh, based on the KCL uh, concept we need to add the current passing through this line uh, to the current absorbed by this load over here which is the second load and uh, this way we can calculate the current passing this line uh, which is the line from uh, first bus to the second bus and this is shown by this expression over here. Uh, so first of all, uh, you need to know that uh, in a, a back bar forward sweep power flow method, we always start from the end of the feeder, and this is known as the backward sweep. So always remember that we start from the end of the feeder, that we, do, we go to the uh, beginning of the feeder, and after that we, we are going to again come back from the beginning of the feeder to the end of the feeder. So using this expression over here, we are able to calculate the current passing through each line and we start from the uh, end of the feeder and go back to the first of the, to the, to the beginning of the feeder. And this is known as the backwards whip. So in the next step, we need to calculate the voltage of each bus. And we, here we start from the uh, first bus of our system which is our slack bus. Of course, the uh, voltage for a slack bus uh, is uh, assumed to be always one, um, with one per unit with uh, zero degrees. And uh, so uh, we have the voltage for the first bus and we start from the second bus and we go back all the way to the end of the feeder. And we calculate the voltage for each bus. Uh, so to, ca uh, to calculate the voltage for each bus, uh, we need the voltage of the former former bus, and we need the um, impedance of each line uh, multiplied by the current passing through each line. And this is basically the KVL um, concept. So. Yeah, and the voltage, as I said, the voltage for the first bus is always considered to be uh, the voltage for the first bus is always assumed to be one with zero degrees. And yeah, you can see that uh, to calculate the, for example, the uh, second, second bus, 
uh, we need to write v1 here subtracted by the uh, impedance of this line over here line 1 2 multiplied by the line pass by the current passing through this line over here okay so let's see an example for this so we can understand it better so imagine that uh, this is our system and we have three buses over here and we have two loads uh, as you can see the um, apparent current needed or absorbed by each um, load is shown over here for s3 it has this value and for s2 it has this value um, L1 and L2 are the length of our lines over here and uh, Z is the uh, impedance of each line which is indicated for per mile and uh, the voltage of the system or the voltage of the first bus is uh, um, 7200 volts uh, so we first need to calculate the impedance of each line and Z12 is the impedance of the first line and Z23 is the imp impedance of the second line and uh, this is a basic calculation and the coefficient over here uh, basically converts feet to mile and uh, the, uh, after that you can calculate the uh, impedance for this line and uh, the same thing also happens for the second line okay the uh, backward forward sweep uh, method starts from over here we first calculate the current absorbed by the third bus over here with the load that is connected to the third bus to do so we need to calculate the uh, conjugate of the apparent power uh, to the voltage of the third bus and here uh, we assume that at the first uh, when we want to start the uh, back bar forward power flow, power flow method we need to assume that uh, um, all of the buses have uh, the uh, same voltage as the um, slack bus which is uh, the 72 uh, 100 volts with a uh, zero um, angle over here and uh, this uh, uh, coefficient over here just converts a uh, kilovolt ampere to uh, volt amperes so the current absorbed by the uh, load connected to the bus 3 is uh, uh, this value over here and after that we need to calculate the current passing uh, through this line and since there are no further lines connected to the third bus uh, the um, current passing through this line is equal to the current absorbed by this load and uh, therefore I23 is equal to I3 and after that we need to calculate I2 in the same manner and uh, we get to this value and after that we need to calculate the current passing through this line and to do so uh, we add the current passing through this line to the current absorbed by this load okay so we get to this value and we reach the beginning of our feeder now we need to uh, do the calculations for the um, forward sweep and for forward sweep in forward sweep we are going to calculate the voltages of each buses uh, we have the voltage for the first bus and we need to calculate the voltage for second bus and to calculate the voltage for second bus uh, uh, we basically have to do this formulation over here which is basically the which is basically the KVL concept and uh, yeah that's all we are going to get the voltage for the second bus we also do the same for the third bus and uh, uh, we calculate the voltage of the third bus over here using the voltage that we can we just calculated for the second bus and we reach the end of our feeder so here the first iteration for a forward backward sweep power flow method is finished and uh, if uh, the voltages haven't converged yet we need to do the second iteration for 
our um, forward backwards work method. Okay, since this is only the first iteration for our method, we definitely need to do the second iteration as well. So we are going to do the same thing. And uh, in the second iteration, we are going to use the voltages, voltages that we calculated in the first iteration. Uh, so here, we start from here and uh, um, we calculate the uh, current that is absorbed by the third um, third load over here and uh, we have the same S and uh, we use the uh, voltage that we just calculated so I can see a mistake over here we, this has to be the conjugate of the uh, voltage we just calculated so this is going to be positive 1 degrees okay so I might have uh, a few mistakes in my calculations because uh, I just uh, did the calculations so fast and I didn't validate them but that's okay I just I'm just trying to um, explain the concept over here okay and after that uh, we go to the second uh, load and uh, we calculate the loads that is absorbed by our second load and as you can see we get to this value over here and next we need to add the um, current pa current absorbed by the second load to the uh, current passing through this line and we get to the um, current passing through this line and it is this value over here and uh, now we need to again do the uh, forward sweep we need to calculate the voltages over here uh, we calculate V2 uh, using the KVL method and we again do uh, calculate the V3 using the KVL method and we get to these two values okay so now we want to calculate whether our uh, method is convergent so we calculate the error for the third bus first we get to this value for the third bus's voltage and then we got to this value for the third bus and if we just uh, uh, compare them and subtract them from each other we can see that the error is only 4 volts which is very good and that means that uh, our uh, method is converging also note that uh, for the error we calculate the absolute of the voltages and uh, we have nothing to do with the angle and yeah that's all and this is everything with forward backward um, or backward forward sweep power flow method so I have also seen that uh, in some studies uh, they changed the calculations uh, for this backward forward sweep power flow, power flow method uh, for example in the um, backward sweep part of the uh, method they might also uh, calculate the voltages of each buses as they come uh, from the end of the feeder to the uh, beginning of the feeder and um, that is also okay it just changes the uh, rate of convergence of the algorithm a little bit um, but all these uh, uh, things are also possible. You need to read other papers and uh, see what kind of stuff, what kind of other stuff can you do to this uh, algorithm to change the convergence, to enhance the convergence, or things like that. But this is the basic, basic concept of the um, backward forward sweep power flow. Okay, that's all. So thank you for watching and do not forget to like and subscribe to my channel. Also do not forget that uh, I will do the MATLAB coding for this approach in my uh, next tutorial.